for today's movie on Color Forth. I thought I'd do something a little more uh, uh, informational, maybe a little more uh, informal. Uh, there's no script, so I'm just going off the top of my head here. But we'll be doing uh, Color Forth 2 with Host in Windows, and I'm going to show a, uh, a, a programming example that I call uh, Chuck Moore Math. Um, and it's more an example of using the system as a uh, as a calculator, I would suppose. Uh, all right, let's bring up uh, block 818 here. Now, uh, I've written uh, the name of the program up here, and we'll just use this to uh, to discuss some of the things about Colorforth. The editor is running, and you can see that the uh, over here in the right hand corner, there's the uh, editor keyboard. Uh, I can uh, shut off the editor if I type the word empty and it brings up the the, uh, the logo program uh, which allows me to know that the uh, the dictionaries were just emptied. If I turn the, the editor back on with uh, typing the letter E spacebar and uh, we're back in block uh, 818. Okay so the minus and plus keys down there in the bottom right hand corner of the keyboard are used for uh, going up and down the blocks, so you can edit, uh, so you can see things in the editor. Um, there's quite a few things I've got in here. Okay, and uh, uh, the other keys in this particular uh, block, if you look over the top right, uh, sorry, top left of the keyboard, there is uh, S, C, and T keys. The S and C are both capitalized keys, and when you press those keys, you write capital letters. So that's how I wrote the C for the Chuck Moore there uh, with a capital letter. And if I want to write small letters, I can hit the T button there and type a small word. Okay. Uh, also uh, across the way from that row is the uh, the Y, the R, the G, and the X key. That X key is a swap key. And it swaps between uh, uh, documentation which should appear on this block and doesn't at this current time. Uh, but uh, we can demonstrate that. We've got a block 18 and here we go. Uh, a lot of times you can put the uh, words that you're documenting right on the opposite side. <laughs> it looks like it's never been done here. Right on the other block. Okay, so I thought I'd try uh, showing a uh, programming example using Colorforth um, warts and all. Uh, there's no script to this. Just going to uh, start editing. Here we go. I'm going to go to uh, block 818. Type the word edit. And here we are. Prepared it a little bit. Uh, and the program's called See More Math. Uh, it's a little bit of a tribute to Chuck Moore. But what we're going to do here is... Uh, is create a program and uh, I'm going to first uh, select M the magenta keyboard and I'll pull up uh, a, a memory address variable uh, so we'll type MA for that and here we have a memory address variable okay <clears throat> what's nice about a memory address variable let's see uh, we can uh, I've created a word for myself I'll, I'll discuss all these these little creations uh, in subsequent movies, but uh, right now I've got a word that load this block that I'm currently looking at into the uh, into the dictionary, and now I can uh, type ma on the command line and get the address of that particular variable. If I switch over to the graphics keyboard and hit the fetch symbol and hit the uh, space bar, I can fetch the currently held value. Now, I mentioned that because if I type empty, and now I've emptied the dictionary, we know that because logo is running, uh, and uh, uh, let's see, let's turn the editor back on, and now if I try to type MA, if you look down there by the keyboard, you'll see MA question mark, and the variable is no longer reachable, it's no longer in the dictionary. The dictionary points back to this block, where that variable is is being saved and this is what's sort of remarkable about Colorforth. Uh, 
Now I reload that block and I can type, uh, let's see, I want to put uh, uh, 256, let's say, uh, MA store. And you see in real time the variable change because this is where it's stored. Now I'm going to, uh, let's see, block 8, 18 block dump. And hit the space bar and we can look at that variable and we can see it here, 8A8. C. This is the uh, uh, the word label of the of the variable, and it's tagged with a C to make it a magenta variable, and to tell the dictionary to point to the very next space in the block for the value. And you can see it in uh, hexadecimal here is 100. Okay. Um, now, even though the even though the block is empty, I can still reach the variable. Uh, Let's see, let's pull back the uh, the dump here, and we can see now uh, that this word that I just used to, uh, to a shortcut for a little dump thing I do, uh, pulls up the very first address that's being dumped here. So I can add 8 to that, 8 plus, and I can fetch it, and I can get the value uh, directly from the block without the block loaded because I know where it is. This has implications for all the new arrays that I'm using and so I'm rewriting a lot of code right now and this is what's taking so long in creating these movies and so in order to uh, uh, satisfy a desire to get a movie out uh, I'm just doing this one without any kind of script. But anyway, so we've created a variable MA. Okay, and uh, some things we can do, we've shown, we've set it, and we've fetched it. All right.